Women of Reddit, what's the worst red flag that a guy could have? A man once told me I don't usually like women, but I can tolerate you to clarify, he wasn't gay, he didn't get on well with women, he said I wasn't the same as most of the women he had met, and my company could be tolerated. I was at a pub once next to a canal. I had to go home, so I said my goodbyes to the guy I had been talked to, and he said, do you want to go for a walk along the canal? I said no I need to get home I have work tomorrow and I live in the other direction. He got angry and said why not? I'm not going to rape you. When he says I never apologize for anything thinking it sounds cool. But really it's, yikes. Not taking no for answer. I'm not talking about sexually, even though I kind of also am. It is an immediate red flag if he does not like taking no for an answer over the smallest things such as trying his food, drink, doing something you don't like, etc. It's gateway into bigger things he can't take no for an answer on. The ones that rage too much when playing video games, I'm not talking about turning the device off or yelling out a simple asterisk asterisk asterisk, I'm talking about punching and breaking things, if I meet someone like that I'm running home as soon as possible. Not letting you have your female friends and your family, or starting to say bad things about them when they didn't do anything. A few weeks before my 20th birthday, a dude told me I could pass 415, or possibly 14, and then said, I don't mind that. Nope. Absolutely not. No. I wasn't interested in him before, and I definitely wasn't after that. Talking about how he wished I looked a certain way, and telling me to try to look, dress, and have in a certain manner. Rants about how all of his exes were crazy. Comparing me to his ex, like she did this better and that. You're cute for a, insert here. Having to say I'm a nice guy. Comparing you to their exes, worse their mom. Doing nice things for you, and then constantly reminding you of the nice things they've done for you. No. Just no. Hair trigger temper. Treating women who aren't the one they're with, or want to be with, like asterisk asterisk asterisk. It's the most obvious one to me from afar. Otherwise, I could a whole list of them. About 5 years ago I was in a police station, documentation for moving abroad, waiting at a window for paperwork to be returned and a man, pretty much the only other person in the lobby, at the window next to mine in a half whisper kept smiling at me, saying this or that, asking me about going on different kinds of dates with him, and giving my answers to himself. I mostly ignored him as politely as I could, and eventually shook my head a few times and he seemed to like my real answer on some level. He grinned and said, no. Guess I'll have to kidnap you, then. I didn't look at him after that. A red flag is a red flag, but this guy just laid it all out there. Not respecting our boundaries. If I say no, I'm not saying try harder. I want you to actually listen to what I'm saying and respect my wishes. And this applies to any boundary. Don't insist on picking me up if I want to drive myself to our date. Don't push for a private location if I'm not comfortable with that. Don't act like you're entitled to my Snapchat, phone number, or other contact information if I'm only ready to keep the conversation inside the dating app. You can ask for whatever you want, but understand that no means no one at the end of the discussion. Saphoridas of all genders, if someone doesn't respect your boundaries early on about small and seemingly trivial things, they're not going to respect them later when it comes to the big important things. I'm a straight guy, but I can't believe no one mentioned anything about personal hygiene, especially brushing your teeth. Always playing the victim card. It's exhausting and so manipulative. I wish I had seen this for what it was, but I was determined to be chill. Photos of his ex all over his house. I feel so asterisk 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 stupid. Only has crazy excess. Poor treatment of people less influential than him. Not just men, but anyone who thinks it's okay to be rude to waiters or janitors should make everything with their damn hands, if they are so special. 
Keeping the relationship a secret. I had a boyfriend once let his mother berate me at the dinner table. I cried. He just looked down at his plate. She also blamed me for her son's failure to secure a decent job, saying he spent too much time with me, she agreed with. It's always a good sign when a man respects his mother, but please run away from the mama's boy type. When they seem to have everything in common with you followed by hurrying to the love and commitment stage without so much as one disagreement. Insisting on walking you home after you decline and say no multiple times. I once went into a random building instead of going home because I didn't want him to know where I live. Mistreating customer service workers. They are definitely going to mistreat you one day. Rude to service staff and sanitary workers. Backquote I'm such an alpha. This phrase is a starter pistol that sets me off sprinting. If they get upset or jealous when you go out and spend time with your friends slash family without them. And I mean stuff like a girl's night, lunch with your mom. Doesn't take no for an answer. I hope there are other people scrolling through this list and not matching any of the flags stated, then getting all happy and confident that you are worth someone's time and effort. Not a woman, but gay, a guy who is a potential narcissist, loves to talk about himself and has a hard time having conversations about you, recently stopped dating a guy who was like that. If a hookup, talking about limits and then having them push, beg force their way into all those things. Just get up and leave at that point. Very hard in hookups. Holes in the walls. Telling you to get rid of your pets because they backquote don't like them. I'd rather be alone than get rid of my precious fur babies. I never learned how to do laundry. My mom or sisters do that for me. My ex, 19 years old and oldest sibling, his sisters were 13 and 15. What a perfect way to tell me you're expecting women to do the chores for you. Broke up with him a week later. Having multiple kids with multiple baby mamas. If they tell you, pitifully, I'm just too damaged, I'm an awful person who will hurt you. Or any variation. It has nothing to do with their damage and everything to do with setting up an alibi for the time they inevitably treat you like garbage. Then. They can say they warned you and make you feel obligated to see out your choice to fix them, despite the fact that that's not what you agreed upon. One-upping, if you are relating a story and they cut in with something better usually those guys who try to correct you all the time. Bad temper slash aggressive physically and verbally. I went to date with a guy. He acted like a gentleman on the first date. On the second date he wanted me to come over to his. I was aware what that means, I wasn't sure if I wanted or no. He ended having some wine at his office after working hours. He basically told me it's fine not having sex on the second date, but taking the next steps on the third one is essential. I said no when he asked me out there for the third time. Gay man but still this applies to straight men too. They constantly correct your memory, but only ever when it's something that applies to them and your conversations. This one may not seem obvious at first, but it's likely more common nowadays. If a guy is really eager for you to play a part in their lives, look out. It can start out small, like they are almost feeding you lines, or suggesting wardrobe, or character development. Imagine that in the hellscape of influencer slash content creation culture these kinds of behaviors won't register as red flags at first, but that's some textbook NPD behavior. Don't conflate it with an actual relationship. You'll always be a character in their lives, even with the cameras off. When they tell you they love you after a few days, people are asterisk 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 with. Calling himself a nice guy. It's not rape, if she's passed out drunk, she can't say no. Belittling slash making fun of hobbies or interests especially referring to it as cute or little. Invalidating so's feelings, gaslighting. When they contact you so much that it's to the point of harassment. WhatsApp, 
Instagram calls ETC clinginess from the start is a huge red flag for me. Saying he's a damaged person who just needs love. In my experience it's a manipulative tactic. I was too young and inexperienced at the time to realize he was just trying to make me feel bad for him and guilt me into staying. Also picking random things to bicker over. The most petty was when I'd say I don't like certain music and then suddenly he really wanted to listen to that music and I was being unreasonable for not letting him play it in the car while I was driving. He says are you about a size 14? He argued why some jobs just can't be done by women he couldn't name a single legitimate one, but argued with me about it sexism matter risk asterisk asterisk that guy. I've been unfortunate enough to attract the interest of a few really clingy needy jealous guys. You know the type, the ones that don't understand boundaries or respect your privacy, and get upset if you're paying attention to anything or anyone other than them ones that don't understand the concept of no and asterisk 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 off. It's such a complete turn off and a major red flag. I always try to be nice to everyone. And when I turn down a guy I try to do it in a way that's firm but not bitchy. With these guys none of that works. You have to become the biggest asterisk 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 and sometimes threaten them with violence or getting the cops involved to get them to back off. Imma dude, if they blame a lot of their issues on someone else, or say that's asterisk 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 a lot. Usually means they won't own up to their mistakes. Praising you for not being like other girls. A racist tattoo. You've been quiet I thought you'd forgotten about me. Or. I thought you were just talking to another guy. Both have red flag to me all over them. Needy, insecure, controlling. Jealous. No thank you. One that makes out like all of his exes were crazy. Unhealthy attachments to exes. He doesn't leave you alone after you ask him to go away. Take it from someone that is currently in an emotionally abusive relationship, the type of dynamics that make you feel like a worthless piece of asterisk 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 include invalidating your opinions. Cannot handle dissent, your difference of opinion really pisses them off, sweeping everything under the carpet, and acting like nothing happened 10 minutes later, silent treatment, criticism of your personal taste, clothing, hobbies etc, mocking you slash using sarcasm, or teasing to belittle you, he'll mock our daughter's laughter for example, but if someone tried to attempt to poke fun at him, he gets angry, passive aggressiveness, deep sighs walking right up next to you. Eye rolls, anger issues, can't hold it in, or the anger continually bubbles under the surface, oppositional to everything. You say, refuses to apologize, and take personal responsibility, is never back quote wrong, shames and blame for every little thing, I'll get blamed indirectly for things to egg back quote someone hasn't fed the cat, have they? Cue passive aggressive tone and smug look. Instead of acting like a normal human and actually asking you, or quietly doing it themselves, acting like they are superior to you in some way, intelligence, looks, opportunities etc, guilt tripping, walking on eggshells around them, I get knots in my stomach when I hear him pull up in the driveway. Not actually listening to and cutting you off mid-sentence to back quote one up the conversation and bring it back to themselves, highly insensitive, generally lacking empathy, being indifferent or insensitive to your feelings. Egan had covered a few months back and within hours of being tested, I asked him to make me a cup of tea so I could rest in bed. He yelled at me to hurry up and get over it. I don't mean to make this about me in any way, but I think sometimes sharing examples from real life can help others to understand how insidious it actually is. Wouldn't wish for anyone to go through this. I could go on, but I think you get my point. 3 answers 3 answers 1 a guy that refers to himself as a nice guy to a guy that has a history of being a cheater 3 this one is very important a guy that constantly wants to know what you're doing 24 over 7 and call you multiple times a day and will always want to check your phone. Trying to control things about me like appearance, who I can and can't talk to slash hang out with. Bring rude to service workers or being a bad tipper.
The bar is so damn low holy asterisk asterisk asterisk. The Nazi one maybe.